Hey Kanji TV viewers, it's Natasha Negavanlis. Today I am chatting with the Canadian Screen Award nominated and Real Fest Trailblazer Award winning actress Kara G, who also happens to be one of the stars of the new Kanji TV original series In Human Condition. Would you care to tell me what happens when you do lose control? Well, thankfully, small things. Objects disappearing in the night, my clothes changing color. Uh, sometimes people agree with me more readily than is natural, and I can't help but wonder if it's because they're afraid of me or, or if I change their minds. And, and that, that is horrible that I could do that to someone. It's such an honor to be chatting with you. Oh, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here chatting with you. Thank you. Well, I just saw a little sneak preview of Inhuman, and it gave me goosebumps. Oh, good. Yeah, your performance is amazing. Thank you. So I was wondering if you could tell everyone a little bit more about your character Tamar and and, mm. and why they will love her as much as I do. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I love Tamar too. Yeah, she was so sweet. She's such a little pumpkin. Well, she was raised in an institution. Mm -hmm. completely alone. She has never lived on her own, even though she's, you know, a, a, a woman now. Considering that she did grow up in isolation, um, you know, and obviously you didn't. I didn't, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't, I grew up around people. I tried to see the world through her eyes, and when you think about every little decision you make on your daily sort of routine mm -hmm. being a bigger deal, mm -hmm. so you know, what you eat for breakfast, how, brushing your teeth, you know, like being really aware of like, your technique. She's just really confronted with all of those little decisions and thoughts and so she's kind of got like big eyes just looking at the world like okay everything is a decision. Well speaking of the acting process, um, you have a background in theatre, right? You went to theatre school. That's right. Is this your first web series, first of all? This is my first web series. Yeah. yeah, it was crazy. It was really challenging. So how does it differ for you? Because I know like I can relate to that because I mm -hmm. came from theatre as well mm -hmm. and then shifted into film and television recently and then Doing web series is like a whole. It's a bit like doing a play. Other, other thing. We shot what was it, thirty pages a day or something like that? Forty? Was it like forty pages a day? Sometimes, I mean, other film and TV shows, you're shooting eight pages a day. I know, what which a is still a lot. <laughs> which is still, you know, you're still, you still have a lot of words in your head. But this was extreme. So on top of that, the world of Inhuman is a supernatural world, and I wanted to know how you, Kara, would fair in a supernatural world. I'd crush it. I would crush just crush it? it. Yeah, give me a, even a, a fraction of that power and I'm going to do I'm going to take over the world. Yes. It's going to be bad. Yes. Don't get don't let me do that. Don't well, if you that. if you if you had a special ability or or you were a supernatural being, no. what do you think you would be? Flying would be neat. Being able to heal people would be yeah, neat. Being able to see through clothing obviously would be awesome. Get Dating a lot easier, I think, too. You know, there, there, there wouldn't be any, there wouldn't be any awkward surprises. No, no. Yeah. No, yep. No, that's terrible. That's so superficial. <laughs> Dating is about seeing people naked. It is, a hundred percent. Lastly, I came up with some would you rather questions. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? Fly. Would you rather be a vessel for an angel or get possessed by a demon? Angel. Angel. <laughs> Vampires or werewolves? Vampires. Good answer. Yes or no, do you think there are people in the world with supernatural abilities? Yes. That was a fast answer. I was gonna be like, clairvoyancy, or like, no, but you're no. like, no, you're no, ready to go. For sure are. If you were a friendly vampire that didn't kill people, would you prefer to hunt small animals or go and get blood bags from, from a hospital? Um. I'm friendly. Okay, wait, let me just feel it out for a yeah. Friendly, blood bags, animal. Like, like I'm a vampire, blood bag. I need mm. the blood. Mm. Not like, I don't want to take, I don't, but I feel like taking blood from a hospital, like, mm, maybe little animals. I do agree, yeah. Do the animals, do the little animals become little vampire animals? That would be adorable. Let's say yes. Little vampire bunnies? Yes. Okay, vampire bunnies, then. I vote for that. Would you rather have a pet dragon or be able to turn into one? Turn into one. Turn into one. It'd be it's really a, cool though. <sighs> Would you rather be able to read minds or have your mind open where like everyone could read your mind all uh, the time? Read minds. Read minds. No one needs to know what's going on in here. It's yeah. horrifying. 100%. It's horrifying. I agree. Yeah. Thank you so much for playing this game and chatting with me. Thank you. Oh, we have. And and thank you so much for watching this video. If, if you liked it, don't forget to hit subscribe and leave me a comment below with what supernatural ability you would want to have. 
Also, don't forget to check out Inhuman. We're so excited. And you can also watch Kara on Strange Empire on Netflix. I'm gonna go home and binge watch it right now. Bye. Everyone, see that subscribe button? You should probably click it. Uh oh. <laughs>